Hi everyone, my name is Namit Kumar. In today's class, we are going to continue the topic active voice and passive voice with different tense. In today's class, we will active voice and passive voice and the topic we continue to do with different tense. In our previous classes, we have completed the topic active voice and passive voice with the tense present tense. And we have already discussed active voice and passive voice with the simple present, present continuous and the present perfect. So, if you are in a class, active voice ke related ga, active and passive voice ke related ga, simple present lo sentence unte dhani ala convert jali passive voice lo ki, present continuous lo active voice unte dhani passive voice lo ki ala convert jali and present perfect lo active voice unte dhani passive lo ki ala convert jali ala nishal na tells ko na. In this class, we are going to focus on past tense and this class will begin with the topic simple past. E class lo past tense ki related active voice and then passive voice lo ki ela convert jali ana vishayam telusukundam. E class lo manam simple past tho start chedam. So here, uh, what is the principle of simple past? We have already discussed the tenses in our previous classes. So you can check the previous uh, videos to find out the simple past and to know a lot about simple past. In the equal school and simple past to some the videos only, you will get enough information about it. Because then some mention of the sequential information are there. Here, the principle of simple past is subject, verb form to and object. Simple past to some mention of the principle of just subject to V2 means past and object. So how can you find a statement or a sentence uh, in active voice related to simple past. Simple past to someone active voice lo sentence allowed to not true. So here is the principle. Subject, V2 and object. Here the principle looks like simple present but here in this situation we are using a different verb form. In simple present we use V1 but in simple past we use V2 because it is related to past tense. That's why we have to use the past forms of the verbs. Okay, right. And what is the passive principle uh, if you wanted to convert an active voice related to simple past? Simple past sentence ni manam active voice no ni passive voice ki convert jayanate a principle ni follow on. Here is the principle object V form, verb form 3 means participle, by and subject. But here you have to remember one more thing. Here V form means related to past tense, not related to present tense. Both principles of simple present and simple past looks similar. Rendu similar ga ote chudaki. But here the only difference is uh, different V forms. Uh, used in different tenses. Different tenses are used in B forms. Okay. Okay. So here we have to use only verse or verb. And we use verse for singulars and we use verb for plurals. Verse and the singular key use system, verb and the plural key use system. And here I have written four sentences on the board related to simple past and these are all active voices. So you can make four sentences fashion in four sentences for a simple past for some mention of me and avani got an active voice. So here I have to do one thing that I have to prove all the sentences are related to simple past. Kada ninja is in a panic theater first then prove jali kada huna pretty sentences and a simple past and a big prove jali. So here is the proof subject Eat, eat, eat and eat. V2 and egg object. So now you can check this with the principle related to simple past. Subject, subject. V2, V2, object, object. So we can simply say that the statement is related to simple past. And how can you identify a simple past? Simply you just 
focus on the main verb. Main verb kind of focus tense. If it is in past tense, you simply say past. But how can we say it is a simple? There is no be form. There is no be form. I didn't use any be form. So simply we don't find any be forms in simples. And depending on the verbs, we can guess the tense of the sentence. Okay na? So be forms are maybe simple lo unda wo and main verb ni basis kani manan adi a tense or chapter two. Right. So all the statements are in simple past tense. Ika dichna to any statements gora simple past lo unda. So now we have to convert all these statements into passives. Ika dichna to any sentences ni manan main jali passive voice lo ki convert jali. So what are the rules and regulations to use uh, to convert an active voice into passive voice? Active voice नों दी passive voice लो की उपका sentence नी convert चेस्तु न अपड़ु follow अवल्स न rules एंटी here. First of all, you have to find out the SVO. SVO नी find out जर. SVO means nothing but subject, verb and object. So we did it. Where can I mark the subject into verb into object into the display? Right. What is the next one to do? My next step is to change places. Which places? So we have to change the places of subject and object in passive voice. Passive voice लो subject और object के places मारते हैं. Then active voice लो ना subject को passive voice लो object को place को सुन्दे. Active voice लो ना object को passive voice लो subject को place लो को सुन्दे. Next thing, use proper be forms or have forms. Be forms as the be forms ni, have forms as the have forms ni use yaal. Proper be forms and have forms use yaal. Next one, must use V3. Ecti parasthi lo pass to participle ni use yaal. And use preposition by. By an activity preposition ni manamu V3 tarvata use yaal. Okay. So now, convert the statement into passive. Chela. So here first of all, I have found subject to verb object. Now I have to change the places of subject and object in the passive voice. So here I will write an egg first because it is an object in the active voice. So we have to write the object first in the passive voice. So Rashtam, an egg. And here what is the thing we have to use here according to the principle of passive voice? B means B form. And this is related to past tense. I have already told you that if you find active voice in present, you have to make convert the sentence into passive voice in the same tense. Same tense only. So here it is in past tense. That's why we have to use past be forms. And we have to convert the active voice into passive voice related to past. Past only only. That's what you call. So I mean singular. That's why we have to use. Was an egg was what next? V three verb form three eight. What is V three for eight? Eaten. Next by. And we have to write the subject as object in the passive. So what is the subject here? I. And remember this thing, we have to convert or we have to change the subjective pronouns into objective pronouns when we convert a statement into passive voice. The statement, okay, active voice, passive voice, let me convert just one up. So, if I don't want to subjective pronouns, I mean, objective pronouns are match for you. So, here, I is a subjective pronoun and me is an objective pronoun. This is it. An egg was eaten by me. This is the passive voice for this statement. E statement is the passive voice. Now check this with the principle. Object. B form related to past tense. V3 as per the principle use preposition by and subject. I change this into me means I subjective pronoun me objective pronoun. 
नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट ही टोल्ड ए स्टोरी ही टोल्ड ए स्टोरी दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो इन सिंपल पास्ट टेंस सब्जेक्ट वी टू एंड ऑब्जेक्ट he told a story now a story is it singular one or plural one singular a means one so simply we can understand that the object which we place in the passive voice is singular one that's why we have to use a story was next one v3 told what is the v3 for told tell told in the dream told a story was told by preposition by by whom he and we have to change the subjective pronoun he into objective pronoun as him now check this one object b form related to past v3 the preposition by in the subject next one she cut the vegetables she cut the vegetables subject verb form to object now here we have to write the vegetables first right next one b form which b form we have to use here was or were it depends on the subject which we have placed in the passive voice ikkada unnatu deeni base is called the vegetables is it singular or plural plural one so here we have to use were the vegetables were what is the v2 cut and what is v3 cut 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 okay so the vegetables were cut preposition by by whom she and the subjective pronoun she turns into her as objective one sorry her okay right e form we three by and and the last one so they caught the ball they caught the ball caught means pattukone nu catch the past caught okay right subject verb object now change the places the ball is it singular or plural singular one that's why we have to write was the ball was what is v3 for catch catch caught again caught by whom they here also we have to change this one into objective pronoun as them so the ball b form v3 by and such this is it okay so if you find sentences in active voice related to simple past oka vela ganaka simple past ki sambandhinchina tanti active voice ganaka statements ganaka ikkunte vaatini ee process lo you can convert them into passive voice ee vidhanga meeru ee principles ni follow avuthu meeru idanni easy ga passive voice lo ki convert cheyochu this is about simple past tense okay so we will meet with another tense in the next class okay thank you so much for listening to my class if you have any doubts related to this topic please mention them in the comment section i will clarify your doubts please subscribe my channel share and like my videos thank you so much